video we'll be fitting a VLUX solar blind. It's a blackout blind that fits on a VLUX window. Um, uh, this is the type of blind that you have a, a switch that will be wall mounted, uh, which we, you know be remotely operated. Uh, the window that this is going on onto is uh, you know way way out of reach, uh, as you'll see later on in the video. Uh, but firstly, I've just unpacked the blind. Uh, just give you a quick overview of what you get in the kit. Okay, so here's the blind assembly here, all neatly packaged. Uh, it's the usual quality from Velux or Velux, whatever you want to call it. Uh, here's the solar panel on the back. Now the solar panel, the panels provides the power for the motor for this to work. Obviously once this is in situ, you know it's out of reach, it's quite high up. You don't want to be having to run up and down, changing batteries and things, so that's the idea of the solar panel. Okay, so that's the, the main assembly. Uh, these are just the side running bars that will run down the side of the window, as you'll see in the video. This is the control switch, which is battery operated. <clears throat> this will be mounted on the wall, uh, just beside the light switch, as I'll show you in the video as well. Just a bracket to help secure this onto the wall. And this pack here, a couple of brackets to help secure the, the side rails, as you'll see in the video. Again, um, as with all Velux products, it comes with a, a screwdriver here, uh, which is a Torx fitting. So the only tool you really need to fit this blind is, is this screwdriver, so it's supplied. So you don't need any tools of your own, really. And here are the, just the screws, uh, which help fit these side panels. So that's pretty much it. Um, so one of the jobs to do is to obviously install the batteries into the switch, uh, which is simple. Um, this is just how it comes, the switch. Turn it over, and you just need to slot the batteries in here. Uh, there's no need to remove anything. So just slot them in. That's it. Okay, so here's the window we're going to be fitting the blind. As you can see, I'll just pan up again. So here's the stairs coming up. And the window is pretty much way up there. That's a 10 foot uh, step ladder there, so you can see the, the height. So. so that's where we'll be fitting the blind. Okay, just another view of where the blind will be going. Uh, there's the, the window there. So it's the top of the stairs, looking down the stairs. There we go, so you can see the reason why we need the remote control, you know, to open and shut it. Uh, so there's a window there and we'll be fitting the I'm just going to fit the control here out of the way of my four-year-old daughter. <laughs> okay, so in all Velux windows, um, they're ready made with these, if you see that grey plastic tabs in the corner there. Yeah, so all Velux windows have got those tabs. Um, so the, the blind from Velux just slots into those tabs, as I'll do just now. I'll just push that in position. And that's the, the first, first part of the job done. Okay, so that's the blind assembly pushed in position. As I've shown you, it just simply pushes in against those grey clips. One there and one there, just slot it in position and that's it. It does take a fair push, you know, to get it in, so just make sure you push it fully home. Okay, next thing you do, we're going to fit the, the brackets in the corner here. Problem I've got with my brackets is this part has snapped off, uh, one of them. Uh, these are supposed to be snapped off after installation, but they're just basically a spacer, uh, which helps locate the brackets in the, the correct location. Uh, fortunately, I've got one on here, so I'll put that in position, and I'll just mirror the, you know, mirror the distance with this one here, so it's no big deal. And we'll get them fitted just now. Yeah, Velux actually supply this tool here, which is a, stor a Torx head fitting. I don't know if that'll focus, but you can see that, so that simply slots into the bottom of here. Yeah, so that slots in the bottom there, that creates your, your screwdriver with the Torx head uh, there. Okay, so we've got the first bracket fitted, this is on the left hand side here. So basically, if you look at the instructions, it's, it's fairly straightforward. This is also marked with a big L on the back, so you can't go wrong. L for left, and uh, the other one will go over there for right. Uh, this part here is just a spacer, uh, so you, you mate it right up against the, the side of the frame here, and that'll give you the correct position for this. Just screw that in position with a supplied screw, and then once that's in position, just snap this off. Like that. As I said, my other one 
the other one I'll wait for it now is this bit slapped off already, so I'm just gonna have to sort of guess, but it's not it's not rocket science, so I'll just put the next one on as well. Okay, so that's that bracket fitted. That bracket fitted, and obviously the main body is clipped in as we already showed you previously. So now for the next stage, which will be to fit the strips inside here. Okay, so what we're trying to do here now is if you see this plastic, if you see that plastic bit hanging down there, which is this part here. Apologies, I'm filming this with one hand, it's quite difficult <laughs> whilst hanging off a ladder as well. But this plastic bit here has to feed into uh, this slot here. Once, it's, once that's located, that little plastic part there into this slot, just push this up. Until it mates together like that. That's all secure and at the bottom, yeah, this just simply clicks into position, so just push. So that's clicked in position. The other side's clicked into position. Right, so the side rails are now in position. We've pushed those in, just, as I've just showed you. Um, now all that needs to be done is there's three screw holes here, so there's three screws we need to put in down the side of this rail, and the same on this side. Okay, it's so up to side guides now, fully screwed in place. Uh, I did start using the uh, Velux's supply tool, but got instantly fed up, so just switched to uh, the impact driver. Makes it far easier and quicker. Uh, so if you do have one of those, uh, stick a Torx bit in there and go for it. It's a lot, a lot quicker and easier but this does do the job. Okay, the final part of this installation is just to remove these temporary uh, plastic sort of holders if you like, so I think we just twist off according to instructions, so yeah, just pull them off like that. That's it, that's So just pull that straight out, and then this one you need to twist to the side, twist it. That's it. So twist it like that, that should just come out. Okay, I think that's just good to go. We just need to sort out the control mechanism now with the switch. Okay, so once we've got the blind installed, we need to set up the, the remote switch. So the first thing you need to do is a reset button under here, which is the, as you're looking at the blind, it's the top right hand corner. All you do is push it to the left or right, whatever way you're looking at it, <laughs> and hold it, hold it for about one second, and then let go. You can hear a couple of grinding noises like that, and that's it ready to be coded to the, the switch. Okay, so once you've done the reset button, this is pretty much paired now, so controls simple, up, down, and stop. Can't be any easier, so we'll go for down at the moment. Sorry, I'm too handed here. <laughs> Just press it down. See the blind coming down. Press stop. Just stop button, back up. Okay, that's it pretty much installed. Uh, all that remains to be done now is to you know, fit the switch on the wall here. Uh, I won't bother showing that in this uh, video, it's more just to show you how to set up the blind. But there's a wee bracket you put on uh, just on the wall and then this will click into place uh, and that'll be it. Alright guys, well if you enjoyed the video just uh, give it a like. Uh, please subscribe to my channel uh, for a lot of videos like this. Um, thanks again for watching and hopefully we'll see you in the next one. Okay, thank you.